Are you too crazy busy to enjoy life? Here's a quiz that'll help you answer that question. Have you ever said, I'd love to come over, but I'm just too busy. I'm swamped. I've just got too much on my plate right now. I'm crazy busy. Today I'll share three lessons that I've applied in my own life that may be valuable to you in the midst of your busyness. And at the end of this brief episode, I'll recommend additional resources for successfully dealing with busyness. Hi, this is Marlena Fiol from Becoming Who We Truly Are. If you're searching to better understand and to become your truest self, you've come to the right place. Please join me on this journey of discovery by clicking that like button below. It really matters. What's most important to having the life you want? Ask Google and you get about 12,230,000,000 results in less than one second. And if you read all of the wisdom in the Google lists, you really will be too busy to have the life that you wish for. It isn't just you and I who are too crazy busy to focus on what's really important. In one study of 110,000 senior leaders, 97% of them said that being focused and strategic was the leadership behavior most important to their organization's success. And yet, in another study, 96% percent of leaders surveyed said that they lacked the time for strategic thinking. At least in the U.S., busyness is seen as a sign of social status. A Columbia Business School study found that by telling others that we're just too busy, we're suggesting that we're sought after. It's like a marker of success. Given this pressure to be crazy busy, what can we do to take back control of our lives? First, I use my purpose as a guiding star. Most of us know the story from Alice in Wonderland where Alice asks the Cheshire cat, which road shall I take? And the cat says, well, where are you going? And Alice says, I don't know. Well, then it doesn't much matter which road you take, the cat says. If we don't have a purpose that provides direction for our lives, then any and all roads will get us where we want to go, and we will be crazy busy along the way. Creating a purpose statement provides the focused foundation for choosing among the many demands on our time. My purpose is to understand and become the, my truest self and to support others in doing so. This has given me a very clear direction, and it's also ruled out the ways that I might spend my time being crazy busy trying to keep all possible balls in the air. What's the purpose that focuses your life? Second, after specifying the purpose of our lives, the next step is to imagine vivid pictures of how that purpose will unfold over time. This is often referred to as an idealized vision of our future. So for example, as I go through my 70s, my vision for the next five years includes putting out this weekly YouTube episode, publishing our third book, and writing a fourth book, I also have clear pictures of spending time outside in the beauty of nature, of practicing Tai Chi daily with my husband, and of course, regularly snuggling in the afternoons, curled up in bed with the love of my life. That's a tiny glimpse into my vision of the next five years. How can I fit all of this into a crazy, busy life? Truth is, I can't. I can only fit those things into my life by limiting what I do to only that that is consistent with my purpose and vision. So the third step is for us to delete what's in the way of our joy. That means giving up doing things that won't move me toward my vision of the future. 
for me, this means cutting back on wasting time on social media or watching the news, not purchasing more stuff than I need or find satisfying, letting go of even long-term friends when I realize that there's little depth in our conversations, and maybe most important, re removing my thought patterns that are blocking having the relationships that I want with friends and family. It's an ongoing challenge recognizing where I want to go and what's in the way of getting there. Think about it. In your own life, what stands between you having what you really want? What can you drop out of your crazy, busy life? For further information about moving from crazy, busy lives to fulfilling our dreams, we recommend the following resources. First, a TEDx presentation by Daria Long, an ER doctor on triaging your crazy, busy life. And second, a TEDx presentation by Mary Morrissey, the hidden code for transforming dreams into reality. The web addresses of each of these are in the show notes below. And remember, we are together on this journey.